A request that I get a lot from clients is anchor links. And what an anchor link is, is somewhere on a page where someone could link to. So I can link to a page, let's say it's an about page. And then within that page, I can link to a section. So I can send someone to, let's say in this instance, on the about page, but they want to read about one member of the team. I can send them to about John or about Jane, something like that. And it's also useful in blogs. So if you've got a really long blog post, you can have maybe a table of contents at the top or just a button that says skip to X section. You know, let's say it's a 10 step guide and the first three steps of a beginner's. You can say, not a beginner, you know, skip to step four, something like that. So super useful tool. And I get it literally once or twice a week. Sam, can we link to somewhere in the page? So this is going to be really useful. Well, at least I hope it is. So we'll go over to the screen and I'll show you how to add them. So we're on our dashboard and what we want to do is find the page that we want to add our anchor links to. In this instance, I'm going to use a blog post because maybe you have a table of contents or maybe you have a button that says jump to X section. So if we go into website and find your blog, we then want to identify the blog which we're going to add the anchor links to. So for instance, I'll just add it into here. So edit, and then we'll add, you know, whatever text. We'll add a couple of images in and just keep padding it out so we can actually have a, have a section to jump to instead of it just going down a tiny bit. So let me fill this in with a bit of AI. Add filler text. Let's see what it does. Lovely jubbly. Okay. So what we'll do is now have something up here that says jump to filler text section. So we can do this with a text link and we'll say jump to filler text section like so. And then we'll do hashtag and then filler. Hit apply. Or we can do it in a button. We can do it anywhere basically that there's a link. So I'll say again, jump to filler text section. And then we'll do hashtag filler. So we've got our links and this is saying, okay, this is where you're going to go when you click. Now we need somewhere to actually go when we click. So above the text or above the place that we want to scroll to, we click plus and then we want to add a code block. And then within this code block, we're going to put a anchor link. And what this looks like is this. So div ID and then you put your ID into here. So mine was filler and this is going to be case sensitive. So Make sure that you get that right. And also you don't need the hashtag in this. So we'll click that. I'll just publish the blog. And then when we click, it's going to jump down like this. And when we look in the URL bar here, you can see that it's gone to the URL, obviously. But then it's added hashtag filler at the end. Now, what you will have noticed is that it, it just chops down. It goes super quick. What we want to do is make that a little bit smoother. So to do that, what we do is add some CSS. So let's go into the CSS by going back into pages, scrolling down and finding website tools. And then we want to go into custom CSS. Then what we'll do is say a smooth scroll and then we'll add our code into here, which is going to look like this. So basically we're saying the scroll behavior of the page is smooth, <laughs> pretty simple. So if I now refresh the page, we'll click one of our links and that should smooth scroll down just like that. So that is that is it. You need to add a code block, a bit of CSS, and then you need to link to that code block. You can have multiple of those blocks, as many as you want on a page, as long as they have different IDs. Pretty simple. So if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.